Hi! It's Emma Nago. So today it is May 9th and that means it's my birthday. So I just wanted to thank every one of you who uh, wished me a happy birthday. Thank you guys so much. So um, yeah, this is the makeup I'm going to be wearing today on my birthday. So um, I'm going out with my family and my boyfriend. In a little while we are going to go bowling. So this is the look that I'm doing. And by the way, I'm sorry if my hair is like a little bit frizzy. I just washed it so it's not behaving. I'm going to zoom you guys in so you can see it. So just a little zooming in. So this is what it looks like. So yeah, I really hope you guys like this makeup look. And yeah, as a birthday present for myself, I did buy a new camera. And that's what I'm using right now to film. So I bought a Canon EOS 70D. I'm reading it off of the camera. But yeah, anyways, this is the makeup look I'm doing today. I just got some new um, items from Born Pretty Store. So I'm using those new products on my face today. So I got a new eyeshadow palette from Born Pretty Store. So it looks like this. It has all these beautiful colors. And I'm using five of these colors today on my eyes. I'm also using this new black eyeliner from Born Pretty Store. And the lashes I'm wearing are also from Born Pretty Store. And then lastly, I also got um, this mini beauty blender dupe. And it's so freaking good. I highly recommend you guys to go check it out. I really love it. Don't forget to watch in high definition so you can really get the full effect of this new camera. And by the way, you guys, I'm like trying to get myself to look into the lens instead of like out at the screen. I'm just used to looking at the screen when I film. So it's a little bit difficult not doing it, but I try. So yeah, I think that's about it actually. So yeah, if you like this makeup look, then please give it a thumbs up and here comes the tutorial. Okay, so we're filming now. So I'm going to start out with my Smashbox um, Photo Finish Primer. Um, should I zoom you guys in? I can try that. Um, oh shit. How the fuck do I do this? Oh, 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 okay. Is this better? I don't know. Okay, that's better. Let's continue. So I'm applying this all over. Okay, so for foundation, I just got a new foundation. I don't know where to look. I guess I should look in the lens. So I got a new Dermablend foundation. So this is what it looks like. Um, I already have this one, but this is just in a shade lighter. So hopefully it matches me. I really hope you guys can see me well. So I just start by dotting this on my face. So just dot this all over. Then I take my sponge. And you guys already know, I spray it with water, like that. And then I go ahead and blend out this foundation. And you guys know I like to use this sponge and just do stippling motions. So you guys know I like full coverage, so I'm just going to apply a little bit more. Just on my acne scars, here on my cheeks. Okay, so once I feel like I'm done with my foundation, I'm going to use my MAC um, Pro Longwear um, Concealer. This color is NC15. I don't know if you can see that. And I'm just going to use this underneath my eyes. So I just apply it with my finger. And now I'm going to use this little sponge that I got from Born Pretty Store. It is supposed to be a dupe of... Um, the beauty blender, the mini beauty blender. So this is how big it is. So let me try and spray it with water. So it definitely got bigger and it's very soft. So let me try and blend this out. Um, it's so small. <laughs> oh, it feels very nice. It's super fucking soft, like for real. So far I really like it. So now I'm going to set with my Catrice Prime and Fine powder and this is a translucent powder so I use it all over my face including um, underneath my eyes. And then I go ahead and use my big powder brush to set the rest of the face. So to contour I'm going to use my e.l.f. pressed powder in the color Honey. 
So I'm contouring my cheekbones after contouring my nose. And I contour my hairline and my temples. And then lastly I go ahead and contour my jaw. And I bring it a little bit down my neck. And then I go ahead and blend it out with my powder brush. Okay, so for blush, I'm going to use my 10-piece blush palette from BH Cosmetics. And I'm going to use this nice Barbie pink down here. And I'm going to smile and apply it right here on the apple and blend it backwards. And again, I blend this out. And then lastly, I go in with my NARS Albatross highlighter. And I'm just using a fan brush to pick up some product. And I'm applying this right here on the tops of my cheekbones. And I go above the lips and I go down the nose. So now that I have all my face makeup products on, um, something I have liked to do lately after I have done all this is that I take my MAC Fix Plus spray and I just spray it all over. So I'm just going to wait till this has dried and then we're going to continue. So it's about dry, so now we're going to do the eyebrows. And I think I'm going to zoom you guys in a little bit, so let's try this again. So, is this the- no. Yes. Okay, so, yeah, let's do these eyebrows, I guess. So I'm going to use my um, spoolie and uh, um, just brush my brows into place. So I'm going to use my Anastasia Dip Brow Pomade. Focus. <laughs> Thank you. So yeah, this is in the color soft brown. I'm going to start at like the arch part of my eyebrow and go along the tail, kind of like that. So something like that. And then I'm going to brush through my eyebrows again okay so now we are going to do eyeshadow so I'm going to take my ooh, I'm going to take my elf eyeshadow primer um, yeah eyeshadow primer and I'm going to apply this on my eyelids and blend it out with my finger so before we begin with the eyeshadows I'm going to use my NYX um, jumbo pencil in the color milk and I'm going to apply this on my eyelid as a base because I really want pigmented eyeshadows. You know, I want them to show up really pigmented and vibrant. So I just apply a little bit of that. And the same with the other eye. So I'm going to use my 10 piece um, eyeshadow palette. So the colors looks like this. They are so freaking beautiful. So I'm going to start out with this color. And with my e.l.f. eyeshadow C brush, I'm applying this as my brow bone highlight. It's a nice like shimmery peachy color, like very light shimmery peach. Then with my blending brush, I'm going to take this color and I'm going to apply this in the crease. And then I'm going to take the purple color and I'm going to apply this on my eyelid. And we're going to um, apply this color up to the crease. So once you have the purple on, you just want to go in and blend. Now I'm going to take this white color and I'm going to apply this in the inner corner. And I go back in and blend some more. So now we're basically done with the eyeshadows on the upper eyelid. So I'm going to go back with my um, with my NYX Jumbo Pencil in Milk. And I'm going to apply this along the lower last line. And I'm just blending it out a tiny bit with my finger. But you have to be careful that you do not disturb your concealer. So anywho, now I'm taking this yellow color. And I apply that right over the base. Okay, so once you have that yellow on, you basically have all the eyeshadows on. So I'm going to try out yet another product from Born Pretty Store. This is a new Born Pretty Store eyeliner. So I'm going to apply this in the waterline. 
So that went on very smooth. And I'm also going to apply it to my other waterline. Oh, this feels, oh, so strange. I really hate doing my upper waterline. It just makes my eyes water so bad. So to line my upper waterline, I mean upper last line, I'm going to use my Essence Liquid Waterproof Eyeliner. So I take my eyeliner down to the yellow eyeshadow and then I wing it up from there. I hope you guys can see what I'm doing. So my eyeliner is not like 100% perfect but it will do so for mascara i'm going to use my gosh show me volume black mascara but of course first i'm going to curl my lashes with shura mora's eyelash curler so curl and curl and curl and curl and i'm just going to apply one coat of mascara because i am going to do falsies so I am going to apply bottom lash mascara as well, but um, I just don't want to do it right now because um, I want the mascara on the upper lashes to dry before I do it. So instead I'm going to go ahead and prep my lashes. These are the ones I'm using today. Again, I got these from Born Pretty Store. So I guess they should be like a dupe for some Adele lashes, but I don't know like exactly what pair of Adele lashes. But I mean, they look like this, they're really cute. So before I go ahead and do my lips and my bottom lash mascara, I'm going to hydrate my lips. So I'm taking um, one of these lip smackers and these all have um, coke, um, they are all coke flavored. So we got regular coke, vanilla coke and cherry coke. And I think I'm going to do cherry coke today just because I never drink cherry coke. I hate the taste of cherry coke and never drink it. But I might like it on my lips. It smells like cherry coke. Mmm, it tastes mm, good. So anyways, now I'm going to do bottom lash mascara. And I'm not going to do too much because I don't want to, you know, overpower the yellow eyeshadow. So I'm also just going to touch up my eyeliner in the waterline. Because I did cry a bit of it off when I, you know, did my upper waterline. Okay, so just as a finishing touch on the eyes, I'm going to use my Essence Eyeliner again, just to hide the glue. So I'm going to do the lips as the last step. So I'm going to start out by just removing most of that lip balm because then the lipstick goes on much better so today I'm going to do my favorite nude lip combination so I'm going to start out with Jordana easy liner for lips um, lip liner in the color Tawny and I'm just going to outline my lips and I rend it out with my finger <laughs> and then the top And then for lipstick, I'm of course going to use MAC Angel lipstick. It's a beautiful nude pinky color. Okay, so I'm going to zoom you guys out and then we're going to look at the final result. Okay, so this is pretty much the finished look. So I just took my hair out of the bobby pins and I put in my Ludora Boutique earrings, which I love. These are so good quality. Um, I also have on my Miss A Emma long necklace and then I just have on this grey shirt I don't remember where it's from I think my mama 
about it for me and by the way on my nails I'm wearing um, this color from um, cool cuss so this is called number six six and I'm sorry my nails are like getting a little bit chipped um, yeah that happens <laughs> so yeah I think that's it for this video so I really hope you guys liked it if you did please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please tell me uh, what you think of this new video uh, not video new like camera I really hope I did not do any like major mistakes I just got the camera so I mean I'm no expert on it yet but um, I hope I did not do any like major mistakes and yeah that's pretty much it so um, thank you guys so much for watching thank you all for the very kind birthday wishes and I will see you guys in the next video so take care and bye bye